Hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to the Final Fantasy VII Intermission uh, re Remake Remaster Final Fantasy VII R Intermission Intergrade. I think it was actually what it was called. Uh, anyway, Stars Yuffie is kind of like a side story. I think also is still set in Midgar. It's like a couple hours long, so we're gonna just chug through it pretty quickly. Uh, now the question is, are they going to add her to the party, or is this completely a side story? I think she's not added to the party in this one. I think it's I think it's different characters. Might be her joining up at the end of this, but I'm mm. not sure. It's interesting. I'm actually really looking forward to this from the perspective of, like... What's normal versus normal classic, easy versus easy classic? So, classic is just the auto battle mode. I, I don't think they had normal classic previously. They've added that this either they added it with the patch or they're adding it with the PS5 version. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll... Well, you liked the new combat system, didn't you? I did. It's been a little while. Oh. Is that a little Moogle hat? Full on Moogle hoodie. Who ties finest? Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. <sighs> Pigeons. Hunter and elite special forces operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche! With your full support, we got this! So, members of Avalanche, where are you? Come get me already! Uh, okay, Kitty. that was a man in a Moogle hat. Huh? <laughs> Wait, does this mean what I think it does? Interesting. So, I gotta come to you, do I? You got some nerve. <laughs> Man, this game's pretty. It's even prettier on the PS5. Mm -hmm. Like, you can definitely tell it was still made for the PS4. I'm really hoping the next Final Fantasy VII part is PS5 only, just so they can really make use of the platform. Maybe they would do that for the next Final Fantasy game. I mean, Maybe. there is the next one, isn't there? Okay. If you can fight effectively from both close and from range. All right. Oh, yeah. She uses the star. Okay. Oh, throw, attack, and guard is R1. Hmm. That's what it is. Now... Was Wutai a country or a faction that Midgar had warred with in the past? Yes. Uh, they had warred with in the past and were still kind of building up uh, weaponry to potentially fight against. If I remember right from what we played. Well, mm -hmm. can't fault him for trying. But yeah, they had this like big war, which is part of the reason why Cloud went off to become a soldier. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. 
So with triangle, you think you can throw weapons at targets. Long-range ninjutsu attacks. Think you can take me? Get lost! I, I like her combat style. It's kind of, it's fun. It is a bit flashy. Mm -hmm. Well, that was easy. And my search for the elusive Mughal continues. It wouldn't be a problem, but it's midnight and I barely slept, so I'm flashy is not appreciated. Oh well. By pressing triangle, capable of destroying Shinra boxes from a distance. Okay. Destroy multiple boxes in a row by using perfect vantage points. Yeah, so these had like high po potions and some other things. I'm not sure about the other ones. And remember Can't being jump? able to No, I don't I don't think so. Gotcha! Can I get the other Yeah, there we go. Hurt. There we go. There oh, this you go. is fun. All right, let's see oh. how this plays out. Another Drake. Gotcha. Or those little rats too. Okay, so she actually starts pretty tough. Because I, I noticed she's got... Yeesh. Uh, I know she's got a decent chunk. Oh, right. Commands menu. What does she have? Art of War. Windstorm. Fire Ninjutsu. Yeah, Assassin so... Steel. Hit an enemy a bunch. Uh, let's see. Gust of Wind damages nearby enemies. Launches them towards you. Oh. Ability Elemental Ninjutsu. ninjutsu. Changes the uh, elemental affinity. Okay. It deals non-elemental damage at first. Pressing left or right while the ability is selected will alter the affinity of one attack. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Assess strengths and weaknesses in steel. Um. You're gonna get what's coming to you. You're going down. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> Here, let's do spells. Nope. Oh, she can do cure. That's good. Well, that well, just destroys it. Cake. Okay, we got anything else around here? No, not really. Yeah, it looks like she'll have to duck under that. Yeah. Easy enough. Ooh, a warehouse. And there might be materia up there? Yeah, I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else. Not that there's too much. This game is pretty pretty good about telling you exactly where uh oh that doesn't look good is. is it a cultist huh? oh it's one of the uh yeah the cultists yeah people with the numbers on them no palm huh? just gonna ignore the guy you okay? Anybody home? <sighs> right, because those are the people that had gotten sick, right? Um... Yeah, I don't remember... <sighs> I want to say they were the ones that were implanted with, like, the uh, Genova cells. Mm -hmm. But oh, well, it's been a while. I guess I'm not going anywhere until I get that elevator moving. Gotcha! This is kind of pleasant. Uh, Don't step under the elevator, who? Yeah, I forget what those dudes are. I don't think they really explain them in 7R. I'm operating... Well, there was that neighbor that we had to encounter, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
gosh, she really just does juggle them. Well, the other weird thing, That's too, weird. is doesn't, doesn't Cloud have a tattoo on one of his shoulders, too? Uh, I forget if he does or not. I know he specifically, uh, he had the Mako treatment, which is why he's got the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the kind of superpowers when it is convenient to have superpowers. <laughs> there we go. Another elevator. Yep. Though, we might want to go back up. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I I forget. Unfortunately, like like I was trying to say, I'm oper operating under incredibly incomplete knowledge. Because I played a bit of Crisis Core. I played... Oh. Okay. Maybe you want to go back in? Yeah. I thought Midgar was supposed to be the marvel of the modern world. Talk about false advertising. City of Mako? <laughs> City of garbage, more like. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so I played part of Crisis Core. I played a, a little bit more Final Fantasy VII, but not too much. Uh, I read some wikis. I watched a friend play Dirge of Cerberus. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that just goes into all of these. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, HP up materia. Looks like you do have an empty slot on a ring. There we go. Oh, oh! You have all your materia from the previous playthrough? Um. Because it looks like some of them have been leveled up. Yeah, we definitely have a number. I think we have all of the unequipped materia. Mm hmm. But I don't think we have any of the other ones. Yeah, so this is all the stuff that I had unequipped when I was playing uh, the previous game. Or the previous game, the main game. Mm -hmm. I was kind of hoping they'd just give me all of it. Because I had some good materia. Well. This does potentially bode well for them carrying over into the, uh... Into the next game. Hmm. But that'll be completely unaffiliated. Unless you mean the next section mm -hmm. of 7. Yeah, no. Not, not to Final Fantasy 16, but, uh, 7... 7R2? And they're doing some funky stuff. I was actually going to say, I really like these kind of short little Filler bonus. chapters? Yeah. It reminds me of when you have an MMO and they are taking a while for the next major campaign, but they have all of these smaller story arcs and quest lines and dungeons and they can reuse between. a lot of the same engine and assets and so on right and so right forth. they can reuse the same engine especially assets for, characters especially for the most part like this game looks gorgeous and while i know they can do even better than this it's kind of one of those that i like i would not be upset if they didn't and it's kind of one of those where it's like i would rather than make smaller better faster Game then, expansions, then yeah. Gotta do something. Uh oh. Then these. Oh, is it? It's more of those. It's yeah. creatures surrounding another guy. With a hood and cloak. You'll do the trick. Come on down. Yeah, I, I would much rather them just kind of reuse a number of these assets that already look absolutely lovely. Then, uh, then to take their time, or take their time and, like, make something, I don't know. It varies. <laughs> it's just kind of one of those where it's like, I'm already impressed enough, I don't need excessive anything. Yeah, I suppose the only no real fear. reason why You'll someone would need to completely overhaul, make a new game, is if they decided to change up all the modeling and the art style. If they needed to switch engines, or if they wanted to overhaul the combat system, right? Might as well. 
it. Come on, get it together, you see. How you like this? I'm in trouble. Ouch. This hurts. Ah. Here. So these are their equivalent of wolves. Have a little these bit more line features. Of, this hurts. Mm -hmm. Never count a ninja out. I, this is really annoying. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting started. Yeah, I, I suppose you really just have to be very evasive with her. How you like this? Uh, You're going. Uh, You're gonna uh, with me. This would explain why. Magic? Do you use magic? You're not getting out of this one alive. Nah. -uh. How you wow. Like this? She completely missed. Nice job, um, Yuffie. You really, you really saved the day on that one. Okay, abilities. With the power yeah, you of think... Providence. There we go. You think that large attacks would home on the intended target? Yeah, especially but... a limit break, but. Sucks to be you. Oh well. Uh, so, not even a thank you. So she's trying to get into contact with Avalanche, but is that to attack them or join up with them? Assist them. She doesn't want to assist them? Yeah, because Avalanche is currently trying to take down Oh, right, Shinra. right. The Shinra company. And so I forget her country's name. Wutai. Wutai. But like from Wutai's perspective, why not ally with the dissident faction mm -hmm. that is, you know, currently trying to... And obviously, to... is this before that... Weird cataclysm at the end of the first game where the timeline seemed to shift. Yeah. Probably. Mm -hmm. Uh the one thing you might notice is that all the plates are currently still up. Oh, right, right. A couple had fallen. What's the point of coming up here? Was there stuff? Ooh. I don't know, cause like there's there's a tower to go up, and there's a fire pole. Maybe you want to go down the fire. Oh, pole? this is why. Ah, uh, yeah, material stone. Have you ever gone down a fire pole or a pole? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a firefighting museum in California that had a fire pole. Mm -hmm. It was I've kind gone... of an inconvenient one, though, because there was no staircase nearby, so if you went down the fire pole, uh, you were pretty much locked in for a while. Uh, I think I may have gone down a fire pole or something similar to it, maybe on playgrounds or oh, something. Yeah. yeah, those exist, too. But the, the thing about them is I just don't like the, the friction. Yeah, you're supposed to, like, um, it's I mean, much easier with, like, If you long, have clothing. Yeah, long sleeves. Thing. Mm-hmm. Though you need some skin, gotcha. at least the palm of your hands or something, to hold on so that you can break? Or is the breaking all supposed to be your feet? Uh, I think I just landed. No. Uh. Yep. Yep, they're talking about Genova. This is too weird. <laughs> okay, you got this. Yep, there's more of the Moogle posters. 
now is she just disguised as one because she was specifically supposed to seek this? I think it's just they to identify each other. Oh, okay. Mm. That Ron next smell's gone. Must have gotten used to it. <laughs> Way things are going, I'll be working for Shinra next. Nice try, Midgar. Ugh, I'm talking to myself. City's getting to me. Hey! Oh. This is so vacant. Yeah. I was gonna say this almost reminds me of the scrapyardy area. Let's see. We want her to go this way. We'll go the other way. Kind of reminds me of the scrapyardy area that Cloud had to clear early. Mm hmm. Like, well, I thought that was pretty much when he was dropped down into the lower city. Yeah, and he was doing some basic mercenary work so people would like him. Mm hmm. I don't know if it's the exact same area, though got the same vibe of trash. Also cavern. But also materia. You really did a good job of making the materia look kind of attractive where it's just like, oh man, I want this. Mm -hmm. I This I might mean, actually be specifically where Cloud was. We're just taking a different exit. Nice. Yeah. I think that's exactly where we are. Uh, do I, do I care that much? Nah. Yeah, that looks like one of the gates. Uh, wait, did you just come from any monster troubles or... Wait, did you just come from any well, monster troubles or... Yep, wait, you, it was you're the same just in. All right. Not gonna be good for Ooh, what are they gathered around? Oh, a TV. Local reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our first city need not worry about any additional complications. We are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. Oh, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Man, that's gotta be Avalanche! Not bad. Not bad at all, but I can do better. Yuffie? What? <laughs> Yo. Who's this guy? Uh, there's our palm. So, you're Avalanche? I'm Jija. Follow me. W wait up! Can't help wondering how so, Jijia, why didn't you come meet me before? I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. And what exactly is a W, anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from, think of it as a code name. Uh-huh. Still can't believe they sent a kid to do this job. This kid could kick your ass! Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Give me a break, will ya? Let you walk all over me. I don't get it. The mission was well, oh, here there's we more Moogles. Ladies first. Well, judging from the news, they didn't get caught. Yeah, I'll Go check try. it on once what we're free. Oh, it's Wedge. Now, Shame, since he won't be getting any. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Jesse, they're out in the street. Where did the music go? Yeah, there they are. Hello, are you Avalanche? You look like Avalanche to me. Why are you so well armored? Why do you have specific boot <laughs> plates? I never asked that. <laughs> Purple. Yeah, it's pretty. Boomerang. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nayo. Hi. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. 
to prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. It's like a rule. Huh. <laughs> uh. But I did bring these. Wu Tai's famous da chow beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. hmm. oh. Uh. Oh. Ah! Hard as a rock. Uh, can you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. <laughs> ah. Do me a favor, well, Yuffie, there's first. and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> huh? Could be the blood of all the atoms must be that tired she's from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see... So... Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Oh yeah, you should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. You look kind of nervous. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. Huh. Well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now! Be my guest then. Go get killed. Harsh. If you haven't introduced yourself to Billy Bob, you should. He's got some intel you might want to hear. Okay. <sighs> My teeth! You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So the material I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. I remember There's that from even the a portable game. version of it. Guy around the corner has one. Uh huh. Hardly oh, the ever see kid? technology that cutting edge down here. So what do you say? Want to try it? I really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator. But just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. <laughs> the guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. You look about ready to die of boredom. Wanna play Fort Condor? Fort... Condor? <laughs> I should've known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would've heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. 
I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. Ooh. Huh. Look at that. Fort Condor. Beginner's Guide. Board game where you employ units and material to destroy your opponent's HQ. Oh, look at that. They have little eagles and soldiers. Yeah. And dogs. Okay. Before play begins, let's select a loadout. All right. Loadouts. You can select what board to use, which will determine the number of ATB charges and materia available to you, along with the units you wish to deploy. Check what units on and board your opponent plans to use and adjust accordingly. Oh. See, so maybe you can counter with whatever units. Yeah, there's things. probably a trinity. I see sword, bow, and shield. Hmm. So defenders, maybe ranged units. Shields are good against swords. Swords are good good against bows. Bows are good against shields. You can see the little trinity, uh, right next to the units thing to the right. Uh. Mm hmm. You want to keep reading? Your opponent. The opposition's board and unit loadout is displayed on the right. Each unit has a weakness that can be exploited for massive damage. Therefore, keep in mind which units your opponents, your opponent is using when selecting your own. You can't edit your board or units at the moment, so press X to start. This looks cute. Interesting mini- This oh, looks really cute! Look at them, they're so cute. Oh. It's a... It, I think it's like a weird Clash of Clans style clone. Huh. When the game begins, both you and your opponent will each have three bases. A headquarters and two outposts. To win the match, you must either destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases left standing when the timer runs out. Units will automatically march forward and engage enemies once they have been deployed. Yeah, so this is a Clash of Clans style game. Each unit has an ATB cost required to play. So, Place yeah. it on the board. Fills over time. Yeah, so I played a game similar to this called Minion Masters a while back that was kind of neat. Uh, but so... I, it looks like the units that I get to put down are on the left side. ATB is at the top. We also have spells. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. I remember the timer is going... So uh, that's a factor that you have to keep in mind. Move the cursor to the spot you want to deploy. X, deploy. Okay. So what oh, we there's want to do there. is actually defender. go here and put down a blast ray. Mm-hmm. Wait, did the guy just walk in front of it, though? Yeah. The blast ray's got him. Okay. Then the grenadier. And then I'm out of ATB. Okay. Magic attack. Allows you to use powerful spells during a match. Okay. Yep. Select a location. Cool. But I don't think I can... Maybe I can? I guess I can. Oh, I see. We just have to wait. Oh, does your ranged guy have a drone that flies along with him? Or you no, have... No, no, no. I summon, I summon two separate ones. Oh. Okay. I think the small eagles are cute. I like how blocky they are, too. Yeah, this whole thing is actually really cute. I, I'm i a little disappointed, I was going to say. Not necessarily because this is bad. This is actually really good. But I have this kind of issue with Square Enix, where they really like to have these absolutely inspired, you know little mini games In mini game modes that like would make fantastic separate games but they decide to insert them into their mainline games yeah they're they're always kind of these like little b b modes that like are super cute and super fun and maybe it's their a way for them to safely experiment but like they don't follow up on it cuz uh. like the perfect ideal for me would be they make this, and then they sell it as a standalone in, like, a month or three. Mm -hmm. Where it's just like, hey, we made, um, 
we made... And they'd have cute chibi characters. Uh, yeah. Various Final Fantasy units. Because, like, this is, this is actually really cool. And, like, obviously it's a little basic right now, but... I, Considering this is only your first match, I wonder how many more you'll have in the future. I think it's mostly optional, but, like, I love the idea of this. Yeah, so we just got a Condor Coin and a Sentry Gun Prototype Defense. Mm -hmm. Well, I Damn, might play a lot of that. How'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. You mean you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on! <laughs> so well, the whole fight your way through the tournament. All right. Thank you all so much for watching our Final Fantasy VII R Intergrade series, and welcome to our new Fort Condor series. Fort Condor. <laughs> it's really good. Like oh, I want to play so more of that. Condors, not eagles. Except condors are kind of fleshy and vulturey. Hey, you up for a round of Fort Condor? Oh, is this another tutorial match? Yeah. Why did you do that? Cancel. Cancel. I was hoping you would do like a regular match. Look, Shell, like I said, I want to play more of that. Mm-hmm. Sonon's still not back? Must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes. There's lots of different establishments. It's kinda hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see. And drink so bitter, you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Uh, <laughs> how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wutai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly, because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? Oh, they're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time! <laughs> <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper, and he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. A snapper? Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him! Man deserves some Dachau beans. Ugh, all this talking is giving me a headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Probably Snapper as in Snapping Turtle. Yeah. Snapping Turtles are odd creatures. Shell? Yeah? I, I see hey, more Fort Condor. Time? More Fort Condor marked on the map. Oh. The blessed days have come. Ah, oh, no. Uh, hello. Oh, it's this guy. Ah, oh, him? Don't freaking scare me like that. I'm highly strung. You're trying to kill me? Uh, who the hell are you? Who am I? Someone who doesn't spend all day muttering to themselves in the shadows. Like some kind of Shinra spy. Say what? Me? No. -uh. I was just, you know, thinking about stuff. Huh? Mm. <laughs> yeah, like how to bag that sweet, sweet Fort Condor prize money. It's my ticket out of here. <laughs> so you're after the Grandmaster too? Sorry to burst your bubble, Mr. Shadow Lurker, but I'll be the one taking home those spoils of war. Well, over my dead Guy walking body, by is just like nerds. My life's <laughs> on the line here. I deserve to eat. I deserve to live. Rank one match. Okay, so Johnny has... A lot of defense. A lot of defense and a lot of archers. So in that case, we pretty much don't need any, uh... Any defenders.
if I can switch any out? The answer is no. Uh, let's use the blast ray. The blast ray is a little bit more expensive. Ah, oh, hella trooper. Do you have that unit? Yeah, we just uh, we earned it as a reward. Ah, nice. I wonder if we can only use our materia once per fight. Guess I'll keep that in mind. I don't know. I think this is just abs an absolutely lovely little idea. I'm like, I don't know, kind of excited to see where they go with it. Mm -hmm. Another defender. Except it's a turret of some sort. Yeah, so they're defensive units that don't move. They just take damage over time. Uh, but they're decent attackers. Oh, I see. They can push back your line, but the line determines where you can yeah, summon new units. Yeah, so depending on how far you've pushed. Is where the line is. So if you're... Oop. Yep. There goes one of your units. I mean, unsurprisingly. It's these guys. Oh, he summoned another defensive unit. All your attack units pushed all the way up to the front. Yeah, oh, but no, your defenders, far, no! Well, their defenders are coming to attack your poor Pondor. Okay. Wiped it out. Nope. <sighs> Dang. Oh, you lost one of your attack units? What if you can't attack anymore? I just ran out of my spell. Not a big deal. Oh, that one's almost down. Yeah. I'm just gonna pile all my guys on this side. We've taken out one of the major defenses, so... Should be fine. He's got a lot of bigger units. If you notice uh, mm -hmm. the little number in the corner of each portrait, yeah. that's how much it costs to summon them. Which means uh, he his guys cost more to summon, but they're they're tougher, potentially do more damage. It's a trade-off. Yeah, I suppose you only had two, but I need more. Yeah, even if you can't defeat these, I think you'll still win because well, yeah, you destroyed it's one of their be... condors. Yep. There we go. Yeah, we got this. Oh, hey, it's one of those creepy units. Yep. I, I like the little chippy units that they, they designed. Mm -hmm. Like, I love the realistic character models that they have for the main game. Like, they did a really good job with those. Sudden death. I think ATB goes up a lot faster like this. Oh. Because so I thought that it just ended when the time ran out, but apparently not. He's almost done. Yeah, I think I... Kind of goofed by going this direction. Alright, there we go. Oh, the battle's finished. Yeah, I should have taken out the one on the side. 
I just figured I'd done so much damage, but no, I have to take out both. so. Oh, goodbye, fortune. Goodbye, pride. <laughs> now I'm taking down Midgar a citizen at a time. Hmm? Wait, <laughs> what'd you say? That all of Midgar is gonna suffer the same fate. Alright, I might be able to refight him, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Not uh, now. No. I... Before next time, I I might straight up just, like, have an episode. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's the kids. Yeah, the kids had that and little hangout spot. Yeah, look at okay, all the cats. Everyone, listen up. Time for Stamp, the loyal little helper. Bow wow. I'm Stamp, the good boy who Are never stops helping. Captain's given me a very important mission Your to buy bread for tonight's you. dinner. Are you here so for with his super duper nose, Stamp went into town to snip out a bakery. He went to okay. But I I think the next episode or something might just be me playing uh playing the Condor game solo. Really? You don't think we're gonna find more story set points? I I'm sure we will, but it's somewhat optional. Because like here's the next one. Yeah, they're they're just uh featuring a lot of those like, a lot of the NPC characters from the last game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, now that's quite the get-up you're sporting there. So okay. Noodles are special. Priceless. So he sells. They're having it that Moogles can only be seen by certain varieties of people, right? Oh, uh, I think that's Final Fantasy fourteen. I don't know. Really? I think the only Moogle, Mo Moogle, Moogle we've seen so far in this uh, is the summon. Mm-hmm. I just want to check the weapon store too. We'll we'll ah, stop here. I ain't seen you run here before. Sure you're in the right store? Uh, let's see. So he sells the usual items. Okay. Wow. This really just seems like a not necessarily a continuation of the game, but a yeah, a side story that occurred during the events of the previous game or just before. Yeah, well, that's that's exactly what this is. Mm -hmm. But would they do this for other characters? Because who uh, else joins the The only the other crew? person they would Valentine? do this, I. It, you're right. Because there is that Valentine dude. Yeah, I he's less likely because he has less reason to be mobile. I think. Mm hmm. Um. I was gonna say. Kate Sith would be the other one. But if we're lucky, he just shows up in this game. What does he look like again? Uh, Kate Sith was the cat. The weird cat wizard. What? Remember when the plate fell and there was like a very brief moment with like a weird cat thing? And it like hit the ground and it was like blast or something like that? Because it was too late? Mm-hmm. I forgot that cat people even existed in this. They don't. Kate Sith is special. Mm -hmm. Why well, aren't they shapeshifters as well? Oh, I bought the wrong thing. Uh oh. Maybe I'm just thinking of other myths. Uh, let's see. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. the point of this one. Ah, enhanced material links. Okay, I'll come back later when I have more money. I guess we should we might as well talk to Chadley while we're here. Chadley. Chadley. Searching for candidates. Oh, that's Chadley. Performing physical analysis. She seems relatively agile and has substantial muscle mass for her stature. Hmm. An acceptable candidate. Hey, uh you want to tell me what you're mumbling about? My apologies. My name is Chadley. Would you be interested in helping me with my research? I'm Yuffie. Nice to meet you. So, what are you researching? Combat. It would entail doing battle with the summon in a virtual arena using this portable simulator. Interested? Hmm. Sure. Why not? I'm a kick its butt. Very well then. But are these going to be the summoner? Whoa, wait Bravo. a minute. 
Ramu. Ramu. Because I remember we fought Leviathan and Shiva. Yeah, before. I don't think we actually got the Ramu summon. No, I, I think Ramu is new for this. Oh, oh he man. looks cool. Gold wizard. Now I'm in for it. That hurt. Ooh, ouch, no. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. I didn't mean to get up close to him. What a shame. It was a close match. However, I did manage to obtain some invaluable data. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory next time. Okay, for starters, uh, let's see, Materian Equipment. There we go. And yeah, there's the power risk guards and then the supernatural ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not actually as good as I was hoping it would be. Oh, the ninja armlet's actually really good. Oh, cool. Uh, let's see, what about the shuriken? There's also the boomerang. Eh, okay. Oh, that's pretty. Makes more sense than the four pointed star. Ugh. Uh, liable see. to hurt yourself with something like that. Oh man, that sound effect. Oh, right, the materia crafting, right? Mm -hmm. And upgrades. They look like planets with orbits. Probably just get the HP for now. All right. Now, Can I assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon? A um, virtual summon, though. Oh, we, just, we still get the materia. I'm gonna give this one more shot, but this time I'm not. I'm not gonna go in melee. He hits like a truck, though. So mm -hmm. my general assumption is. Are you even scratching him? Okay, a little bit. But yeah, the lightning's really swift, and he leaves a lot on the ground. Okay. Surprisingly swift too, but I suppose levitation helps him. Uh, I, there's. There's pretty much no way I I think I'm going to be able to beat him here. Not as I am. Mm. Dang it, I don't want to retrieve. Okay. Well, at least you know you can defeat people in the Condor game. Okay. I guess I actually have done some amount of damage to him. Any way to see his health bar now? Uh. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh. Mm. I don't like the odds of that. I. I've actually done way more damage to him than I thought I was going to. And super bonus. This is what you get for crossing a ninja. It's time to wreak some serious havoc. I can use that to avoid the hit. Whoa. This is this a special move? Yeah. Whoa. Hit him with the limit break. And then I'm gonna cure a self. Never count a ninja out. Hit that up. You're going down. Tough. Get lost. Okay. This is harrowing. What is he getting from those different crystals? Are they powering him? They look to be. Maybe destroying all those will make him vulnerable. Hmm. 
Yeah. I'm just keeping distance for a second. I guess I should probably heal. Yep. Yeah, you're below half health. Thought you had me. And I think the only other time I've seen Ramu was that instance in what, Final Fantasy XIV. In that one, he was supposed to be benevolent to humanity. That is gonna hurt. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna beat him. Aw. I did honestly well for somebody that hasn't played this in a while. Well, I'm not dead yet. Aw, oh, but look at that slither of health, sliver of health that you have. Oof. Okay. Well, you have him below Whoa. half health. That's a new one. Oh, bad news bears. I have no ethers. Mm. To get back, back your ability points. Yeah, so I, I can't get my MP back. I don't work. You probably want to make sure that you're healed up if you can. Yeah. I mean, I'm starting to learn kind of his patterns. Well, there's a spark. Instead, I'm hitting him, I guess. Okay. Let's find time for another cure. Interesting environment. You can definitely tell it's digitized or digital. He's charging something? Maybe you're supposed to destroy those guys before you could do yeah, it. I don't think, uh, oh, that might be it. Unfortunately, I need the wind materia and a bunch of other things. Ow! Well, I'm Whoa! Not dead yet. Heal up. Can't. What? Aww. Yeah, unfortunately, I need ATP gauge. I did pretty well, but I need wind materia if I want to fight him because that's what he's weak to. What a shame! Really? Wind. It was a yeah, that's match. okay. However, I did manage to obtain some invaluable data. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you. Quiet, Chadley. <laughs> oh, I might also be able to face Chadley. In oh right, I do see a board next to yeah, him. Yeah, I see it. All right, but maybe well, you have to def defeat him first before you can get to the board game. <laughs> It's possible. Or remove? Yeah. Well, one way or another, I'm pretty positive about this. Obviously, uh, this is just going to be kind of a, a short, uh, I guess, snack we've of already, an RPG. We've already spent an hour in this game, and we've just had her, I mean, just a little bit of a tutorial for her. She talked to some folks saying, hey, we might know a person, the person that you're looking for. And then I got sucked into minigames. It and happens. Then, there was, then when there were the minigames. I don't know. I mean, remember it was like one of our first episodes of the main game was us playing uh, darts. Oh, right. And I believe I called it the dartening. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so for now at least, this is a good stopping point for us. Uh, these episodes are going to run a little long just because JRPGs are what they are. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do is start the next session with me just fighting as many people as possible. And maybe I'll be awake for it. Fort we, Condo? We are admittedly yeah. recording this pretty late at night, and I was a little bit quiet just letting the dialogue It was just tons happen. of cutscenes anyway. Yep. So, uh, we'll be, yeah, a little bit more awake for future episodes. It wasn't really too bad for this one. And I will get to play more Fort Condo. Hey. Fort Condor! But for now, 
Thanks so much for watching. Oh, right, of course. If you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe because uh, we're going to play the rest of this. And if you somehow haven't seen our, you know, base game playthrough, go check it out. I'll have a link in the description below and maybe a card right now if I can remember to put those up. But like I was saying, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.